I'm the biggest flexor, you know who I am. I'm the youngest flexor. I'm the youngest flexor. I'm the youngest flexor, yeah. I'm the youngest flexor. 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 You want your sound to know that? Yeah. No matter. Thank you all this. So um, we're gonna talk about um. Pretty sure you guys saw the title. So let's talk about moving from the Bahamas over here, going to school over here, trying to make new friends, all that other extra stuff. What's the experience was like? Yeah, so, um, they didn't even put onions on my thing, bro. Oh, they did, okay. Yeah, so, um, about two years ago. You mm. About three years ago, two years ago. Me and my little brother moved over here to Atlanta from the Bahamas. Started school in like August or September. When it was, it was August. Yeah. Started school in August. <laughs> oh, okay. And then, um, yeah, we just, um, Oh, this food is way too good. But yeah, um, moved away two years ago. But I went to Campbell High School. He went to Smyrna Elementary at the time. And then um, it was a pretty cool experience, but um, it wasn't the best. Because the school I went to was kind of trash. Yeah. Yeah, they, got, they had a lot of fights and stuff. I don't really like drama. Shit. Damn, you sucking and shit. Damn, Bryce. Damn. <laughs> Bryce. Damn. Shit, Bryce. Damn, man, he spat on him. I'm done. Bro. He just spat all over you. Now we like drama. And then it's dirty and. I mean, I love the teachers and stuff, people there. I met a couple friends. They was cool. They don't talk as much now, but it's probably my fault. But yeah, I was, you need to talk too, bro, come on. I know. I don't want to be the only one talking. So my experience with Smyrna was, it was good. I met, I met a lot of friends there. Mm. He's way better at making friends with me, bro. I don't like talking, I, I'm a quiet person, so. I'll sit in the room with 20 people and you wouldn't even know I'm there. Yeah, the teachers, some of the teachers are pretty nice there. What was the f Um, I was in fifth grade then. Now, I um, moved to, to a different school. I'm in seventh grade now. What school you go to? Um, I go to Campbell Middle School. Um, what do you need to bro? The school is very nice. Um, teachers just can sometimes be very mean, but the school is nice. I met a lot more new friends at that school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, how'd you feel about moving over here? At so, first, I felt all your friends in the Bahamas and stuff. When when we first moved here, I felt like. I wasn't gonna make no friend, I wasn't gonna meet nobody. But then when we came over here, I just started talking randomly to people and then they started talking back. And that's how we became friends. Yeah. How, you say how I feel about leaving people in the Bahamas? Yeah, how you feel about leaving your friends in the Bahamas? I kinda of felt like I really didn't wanna leave because like the beach, like we got beaches over there, like the food. Duh. So I'm I just, just So I just didn't want to leave. 
Oh God, right, right. That's what I miss about home. The the beach and the food, bro. Food was. Oh God, bro. I dream about food. I dream about that food sometimes. That's how how much of a fat A I am. Like I really be dreaming about that. I miss the food so much, dog. Last time we been was um was in March. I made the video. Y'all should go watch it. Actually, I'm gonna leave the link in the description. We went to the, back to the Bahamas for my sister's wedding and all that stuff. Yeah. Had a good time there, but I still want to go back. I miss it. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, coming over here, I already had the mindset, was like, I'm not going to make no friends, bro. I'm not. Yeah. Knowing myself. So, um. My first friend, I'll never forget. Oh. Hmm? The first person I ever started talking to was my nigga Alec. It was like the second week or the first week of school. I don't know. I think it was the second week. Um, I seen him. I seen Alec. He walked up in the class and he was new. I was like, he knew the Campbell. I'm new to Campbell. So I was like, fuck it. We both don't got friends. So I was like, okay. So um, I'm trying to see if I came. I think I went up to him. I think he, I think he actually came to me. <laughs> I I don't even know. I think it was, it was kind of mutual, man. I and think then, he came to you. I think he came. Nah, to you. I think it was mutual. And so we just started kicking it from there, and then we just started talking, and um, we did like projects and stuff together, but. I never forget that nigga, bro. And then um, it was um, it was a couple other dudes. It was James. It was Darren, Nas, Antoine. All us in that circle, bro. It was bro, it was funny as hell in that class. And he had this old old teacher, bro. His name was Mr. Rasu, bro. That dude, bro. I'm telling you, bro. That 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 made my junior year fun. And then um. My second semester, I had met my nigga b -Nod. So he was like second person, like the like the second person I really called my friend in, in Campbell High School. And yeah, we were just kicking it. Um, when I first, when he told me his name, he just said, I saw, I saw B-N-O-D, so I thought Bernard. And then he, he was like, what the, what the hell did you just say? I was like, Bernard. I was like, you like, that's not how you say it. Um, you say, um, it's called Beano. I was like, oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, man, that is him and Alec. I really, I really, 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 really fuck with on Heavy. Like, so, Heavy. So, you only had boy best friends at your school? Um, I'm trying to remember any girls when I was in junior. Nah, not really. The only girl, oh, it was Mina. I talked to her a little bit, and then it was just my my ex. That was about it. Yeah. So, yeah. Tell them about your your, your girlfriend experience. I'm sure we should record. Yep, you got nine minutes. Who's gonna help me? Okay, so. Would you believe this little nigga had a girlfriend? <laughs> okay, so being over here, it was fun. Well, being over here is fun. Still being over here is fun. But I just want, I just want to experience more stuff. Like go to different countries and stuff. But um, yeah, I have a lot of friends. Um. Tell about your ex. Me, not your ex. Tell about your like experience having a girlfriend and stuff. I have multiple in my house. Head ass. I have. Okay, so having a girlfriend um, to me. At such a young age. Um, not worth it. <laughs> um. Why well, <it> ain't worth it? <laughs> uh, 
Because, you know, I'm like, they be cheating on you. Like, if you watch TV shows, they mm. cheat on you and stuff. And then they they get pregnant by other dudes. And then you wonder how how you got how they got pregnant if you didn't do anything. So yeah, they just be cheating on you. I never got a girl pregnant, so don't look at me like that. I don't never will. I said, how was your experience? You talking about cheating and pregnancy? <laughs> what the? F- <laughs> oh no. Shout out your friends, bruh. Mm. I got a lot, so I only gonna name name like five. Yeah. Oh, I got some, but well, you just a hoe, huh? Hmm. No, I got girl. I got girl as best friend. Yeah, that's not my parents. I believe. Yeah, so. How does it feel being out of school? Mm-hmm. Being out of school, I mean, you just got more, more responsibilities. I graduated in May. So, I'm like, I've been working since then, honestly. I worked at Chick fil A for about two years. I quit that stuff. And then I work at this other place now. But it's like, I still don't feel like college is the only way to go, bro. Like, we do so much more. College is just not the answer. So, I don't know. I don't know. Kind of 50 50 on if I should, like, pursue, like, YouTube and, like, get into business and stuff like that. Or if I want to go to college and study books. And that's really not me. I hate school so much. Like, if you can ask my friend, what? If y'all guys want to go to college, go to college. Don't listen to him, really. He don't know nothing yet. But anyway, you can literally ask one of my uh, my friends. Like, in senior year, I did not a single thing. And I got all these, bro. I didn't learn a damn thing since I got to this. Shout out to Miss Spring. She was the coolest teacher I ever had, man. I miss her so much. Yeah, and, um... Senior year, I just wasn't really involved. I wasn't really involved with my with my senior class. Like I didn't even take senior pictures. I didn't even go to prom. And a lot of people ask me like, "Oh, why did you go to prom? Why did you go to home for me?" That's just not my kind of thing. I don't know why, but it's hard to explain. But I didn't want to go to my own graduation, bro. That's like, that's just me. <coughs> That way, anyway, because my mom had a, and my dad already bought the tickets to come, so I was like, oh, well, might as well. So, I mean, moving over here, leaving my friends, I mean, I really talk to any of my friends back at home now. I mean, I should reach out to them, but at the same time, the phone work. I mean, I should reach out to them. But yeah, stuff ain't really just the same no more. Hmm. Stop talking to a lot of people. I just been, I just isolated myself for some reason. I don't know why. But I should start. I should start rekindling my friendships. Hmm. The reason why we ain't really posted because I was he, in- he got school and, and I was really busy with work and stuff. So. That's about it. Yeah. Well, we gonna we gonna start be post like we gonna start posting regularly and stuff now. Yeah, we might miss like a couple of days or so, but we'll we'll catch y'all back up. 